All right, guys. Well, welcome back. Now, this may be something a little different, um, but this was recommended to me by um, Canuck Plays Cod. Um, just after I uploaded the last Little Nightmares, also actually the very first Little Nightmares video, um, Canuck Plays Cod said to me, "Well, play. Why don't you play What Remains of Edith Finch? It's an amazing story. It's an indie game that just came out, and in my in my opinion, it's a must." Play PS4 exclusive. It looks really good. It's had some really high ratings, so we're going to give this a go. And if you uh, enjoy this, then you're going to have to hit that like button and leave me a comment saying you want to see some more. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay, I have the controls. I'm going to start at the beginning with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. In that house? I'm not sure you can call that house more a, a pile of wood. <laughs> what is this? Oh, hello. How do we... See, I've got no prompts for controls here. Okay, that'll be... Inside the mailbox... The R1 button. ...years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. There were bills from seven years ago marked urgent. So seven years old. That's... That was an obvious thing to say. I'm sorry. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. <laughs> So I've got no prompts telling me what the buttons do. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Looks like we've reached a fork in the road. What shall we do? Take the high road? Or the low road? Well, let's start by, by the low road. It's quite am atmospheric so far. Um, the truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. I see. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Questions about my family, only the house the had the answers to. Have always been uncomfortably silent, as if they're about to say something but never do. I know that feeling. Sometimes the silence can be deafening. Whoa, hello. We've got a missing poster down there. I can't I can't do anything really to to Oh I can. I can zoom in with the uh the R one button. Sorry, the L one button there. It's a, it's a person called Milton Finch. If you have... I can't really read that. It's too dark. It's really reminding me of the Firewatch series. Series. Game. I feel like I should be looking around for things to pick up and find, but something's drawing me to the house. Seems more important than anything else. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. No, no, I can put that into words. It looks like it's going to fall down on top of you. As a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Yeah, you see, I did it. I, did, I said that for you. It's fine. At least we agree with each other.
I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Right, so we have a key. Oh, hang on. There's a letterbox we can look through. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Um, I'm not sure why you get that feeling. So clearly we've got to find another way in. It had, okay, it had wheelchair access. There was a, uh, a stair lift. Somebody in this house was disabled. That key is probably not going to open any door that gets me in there. Makes me think I've got to look around for a... Oh, how, hold on, here we go. Can I? Can I? Oh, nice. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> so this is made by um, uh, developers called Giant Sparrow. Um, I don't know if you know, but they, they re re released a game called The Unfinished Swan. For the first time in years. For the first time in years, what? I felt like I was home. So, I mean, it, it likely been seven years. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Oh, I'm already, I'm already being a little bit torn up here. What is this? One restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. <laughs> so all this stuff was just left here? Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of salmon. Oh my god. Somebody really liked to read. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. <laughs> so we've got somebody's name there. Edie or Eddie. So Yvette, the well-read lady. Does your house look like this by any chance? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Your Great Grandma Edie. Yeah. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Right, clutter, basically. It's a nice house. Oh, look at these. The ickle birds. I'm not sure I want to go down there just yet. Barbara is the name on the top of this box. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. is this this door has been sealed with like foam it's like sealed air sealed even Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library now that statement alone has just freaked me the hell out every finch who has ever lived is buried in the library now is that literally or in the library there are stories about every finch who's ever lived. It looks like there's some kind of hollow passage at the top there. But this door has been sealed with like expanding foam. Definitely not a room anyone wanted anyone to go in. Uh, let's head down. I th oh, well, hopefully this key will work in this door. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement. So I was oh. too surprised when the key didn't fit. Damn it. Alright, there's nothing in there. Well, hold up, here we go. 
Eddie, Dawn, Milton, Lewis, and Edith. Now we saw Milton's poster on the on the on the floor outside as a missing person. Nothing in the kitchen. I'm gonna have to try upstairs. This is really fascinating already. I want to know what's going on. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Edie drilled peepholes? Is she into that kind of thing? Oh, hello. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Oh, what a wicked room. How I cool is my this? Mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Please work. Oh, it does. Right, well, we know what the key does. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. <gasps> oh, wow. Now it was time to that find is clever. what my mom had been afraid of. Now it's time to find out what my mum been with. I don't want to know now. I'm almost kind of scared already. Now I understand this isn't like an out and out horror game. But there is a deep and dark mystery here that needs solving. This was Somebody was kept in this room? From the paintings on the wall it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Right. So Milton is your brother. And all his letters were missing. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Yeah, Molly. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Wow, whoever built this these rooms, they're amazing. Very well designed. Sorry, anyway. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own <laughs> even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> <laughs> she kept a gerbil in a drawer and it's got like a little doll's house of a drawer for itself. That is kind of cute. Oh, look at that. That's really clever. So I guess the gerbil's no longer. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Why was she going around sealing all the doors? Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Oh God, I don't like this. You said you woke up and she was starving. And there's someone still in the bed. For something to eat, the gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I think those are gerbil droppings in that bowl as well. Probably not the best thing you could have done. Mom, can I come out now? <gasps> oh no, she's locked in? It's late. Go to sleep. They locked their children in the bedrooms? That's not cool. Okay. There's another Oh no. Well, I was gonna say there's another way out, but no, it's an only <laughs> it's only to the bathroom. Look at the, the height of me. I'm clearly a child here. I kept eating and eating. Eating toothpaste and gerbil food. Jeez, really? Okay, well, this is borderline child abuse. No, it is child abuse. Did I have to drink from the toilet as well? 
I ate a lot of things that night. Yeah. Those probably weren't good for you. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Yep, she's she's hallucinating. The red berries from the holly bush, famous for for causing a hallucinogenic experience. I reached out for her. Oh, even the windows are chained. And suddenly, <gasps> I was a cat. Oh come on! You see what I mean? She's tripping. Seriously, this is cool though. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Right, well, cats like birds. Come here. How do I... Can I jump up there? Oh, no, I can't. I've just pressed uh, the triangle button on the PS4 and that just made me... I can't go any further. How do I get there? Nope, it's still not the triangle button. <gasps> okay, that was R2. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Gotta be quick. Quick like a cat. Damn it, I nearly had it that time. This is bizarre. What's this? Something flyer. Somebody's frisbee from once upon a time. Uh, I'm stuck. Mom and Dad <gasps> didn't even look at me. Probably just seen a cat going past the window thinking they're tripping too. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with this. I've no idea where I'm going or why. There it is. God damn it! This bird's quick. I jumped and I almost got her. I almost got it every time. Actually, I think you'll find. Okay. I could tell she was getting really tired. This is so cool. Okay, where did the bird go? I see. I see. Oh, this is only going to end in disaster, isn't it? I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. So this girl, after having eaten the red berries from a holly bush, is convinced she's a cat and is climbing a tree chasing a bird because she's hungry. I, I'm absolutely stuck. I can't really comment on it. It is not anything I've ever played in the game before. <gasps> and suddenly, I was an owl. Oh, thank God for that. Was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I can, okay, I can control the flight here. That didn't do anything. Get up. Rabbits. Where? Oh, yes. I see you. Grab it. Oh. <gasps> Oh, this, this, this is not good. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Oh, wow. So I just had to hit the R2 button to swoop down, and then, and then again to, to grab it with my talons, of course. A, a what? A mama rabbit? I don't. I don't want to kill a mama rabbit. 
but I'm gonna. <gasps> she was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. <sighs> and suddenly, I was a shark. What? All right, she's definitely tripped out now. I thought I was going through some kind of outer world experience here. Suddenly, I was a shark. I think I think we've lost it now. The, the game's just completely. I'm, I'm actually not a shark. I'm still the owl. Oh, that felt so wrong. She was almost too big to carry. Oh. I choking, but I couldn't stop eating. <laughs> this is sick. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh, there we go. That didn't work the what the hell? That didn't work the last time. Uh, <laughs> I'm a shark without an ocean. No, seriously? Oh my god. Are we really, are we, <laughs> are we really a shark? This game, man. I've got a, I've got a rag doll down to hopefully something that resembles some ocean. Hold off a cliff and into the ocean. Oh my. Now. Right. Than ever. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this game. I had no idea. I can see something. Oh, look at that. We've got a seal. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Seal the deal. Oh. Oh. Oh, he, he went there. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Wow, I tell you what, I'm just the pr the ultimate predator. Oh no, it's oh I can smell the blood. Oh yeah, it's, it's 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 far too nice. Oh. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Oh my God, I'm now a s snake. What is this? Oh my god, I'm just gradually getting... Okay, this is how I move, so I have to just hit the action button, which seems to be... I was a monster, and I smelled ple people everywhere. Okay, whatever you say. Oh, okay, I need to make this thing go up... The okay, I get it. That's how I pull myself up. It's it's very octopusy like Oh, I don't want to do this to this poor man. Oh, but I just did. I'm sorry. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. <laughs> it's a very simple way of looking upon the terror that you're bringing down upon these poor fishermen. I wanted to stop, but I didn't. I'm so sorry about this. Oh! Awkward. Am I actually like a giant octopus squid thing here? Yeah, I think that's exactly what's going down. <laughs> it's just insane. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, come on then. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. Wow. You've eaten a bird, two rabbits, a seal, and now three people, and you're still hungry. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Oh my god. 
This is a toilet. This is a toilet. Oh, this is Edith. Oh, this is my room, I guess. All, All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, that was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Well, I'm not sure uh, if I believed all uh, that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I'm not quite sure what to think of that, but guys, if you want to watch more of What Remains of Edith Finch, please do leave me a comment down below. Let, let me know with a thumbs up, of course. Let me hit the like button, of course. But uh, I want to hear, hear what you think so far. Do you want to see more of this game? It's... <laughs> I'm going to play more. Whether you want to see more or not is up to you. Please do let me know, um, and I will be back with another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Brilliant. Brilliant, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Take care. All the best. And good night.